Okay. I'm just getting on here just to show you all how to make a quick uh, video on how to uh, how to print an image on a rug. This rug is a uh, hundred percent polyester pal or ply. Sorry. So the what I do is I first get one of my uh, Teflon sheets, only because I just been pressing in this bottom piece gets hot so and we don't want the polyester to melt so I get my sheet I sit it on there then I'm gonna sit my uh, mat on there it's been folded in half so I see where the middle is it's a middle crease there okay this is my design I already printed it I'm just gonna fold it in half. This is how I get the center of the design. Fold it in half. You see a crease in the uh, paper. So that's how I know how to sit it on here. Okay. And so then I'm, I'm just gonna sit it on the crease. And if you want to, you can check with a ruler to make sure that it's dead center because I don't think it's dead center. So check from bottom to top. So it's showing me from the letters to the bottom of the rug, it is about seven inches. And then on this way, it's, even, it's way small. So I'm just gonna scoot this image down some. So it can be in the center. Okay, so the ruler again, it's about five, and then on top, let's scoot this out. On top, it's a little bit more, so I'll just up just a tad. Okay, so that is still a little bit more. Do it to okay, that might too be too far up now. Should have left it where it was. Okay, so that's about five and a half from the top, and then about five and a half at the bottom. So that's the center. Okay, so now I have an image in the center. I'm going to put a Teflon sheet on top. And I'm going to press. And I press it where, or I put my settings on where it's, uh, make sure that it goes down all the way. I just let it sit on there for a while. You can do uh you can do the 10 seconds or the 15 seconds either way. But I just always to make my um images feel smooth on whatever I put it on, I let it stay a little bit longer so it won't feel like I added it on there. It'll feel like it actually came inside the uh whatever material I put it on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to bring it up. Okay, so I let it cool. I always use my ruler to kind of make sure that everything goes down and kind of get set, settled in. You don't have to do that. It's optional, but I do with almost all my stuff. And then I'm just going to go and I'm pulling, peeling it up little by little. I don't want to do a hard peel only because this is like a it's a rug so as you can see you have that material that sticks up it's not like a a regular cotton shirt you don't have to be that gentle but okay so it's on there and i'm gonna go through again and i'm gonna sit the press on there again to give it a final press okay. 
And I didn't go through the whole process of showing y'all how to print a design and all of that because I'm sure by now y'all know. If not, you can look at some more of my videos or you can comment down below and I can make a new video on how to press or how to cut a design and weave it. Y'all stay tuned to my videos. I'll be doing tutus soon. I'll be doing rolling trays. Um, different decor. Um, just different stuff. So just stay tuned. I like crafting. I like doing stuff. So, And I am going to have to give me a new presser, y'all. Because that presser right there. Like, it's been through it. Okay. So now when you feel it. See the rug don't come up with it. It just needs to dry. But it's a smooth feel, so whenever whoever gets it, they don't have to worry about um feeling the ridges in it. I feel for the ridges. Okay, that's the end of the video. Y'all like this video? Comment below, subscribe, share. Help me build my uh, subscribers up. And thank you. Y'all have a good day. Bye.